The orange carpet at the 2015 Kids' Choice Awards was sizzling hot, and you guys are back at another episode of Clever's Dirty Laundry. Hey, you guys, I'm Jocelyn Davis. And I'm Erin Robinson, and we are jumping headfirst into our Trophy Life red carpet, who's hot and who's not coverage of the KCA, starting things off with our girl, Iggy Azalea, who decided to go floral for the KCAs, wearing this adorable two-piece crop top and maxi skirt ensemble. I love that this is feminine and that it's girly, mm -hmm. which Iggy usually goes for a more edgy look. And can we discuss that she's totally <laughs> rocking the Jennifer Lopez ponytail. I thought this was a perfect look for the Kids' Choice Awards. And it was a little bit more fun and more girly than we're used to seeing. And it totally reminds me of Taylor Swift. Oh, I love this look and I love the Taylor Swift and J-Lo comparison, yes. by the way. But I just love everything that's happening with separates right now yeah. and the pockets on this skirt are everything. Cell phone, lip gloss, what else is in there? <laughs> so for me, this look is clever. Too clever for me. All right, up next, one of my favorites, just like in life, in general, and everything. <laughs> I should probably be honest with you guys and let you all know that I am totally biased when it comes to Debbie Ryan. I love all that she does, fashion included. Right out the gate, we have got to talk about the purple hair. Yes. This is a new look for her. Obviously, we are digging the color. Definitely. Um, but when she turned around to reveal what was happening in the back, this wow. braid was everything. Ugh. I need this in my life. Like, yeah, you do. Right now. <gasps> And Debbie's dress, it was so unique and fun with the sheer top and sleeves and some colorful fabric that went all the way down. But what I personally loved most about this whole look were the accessories from the purse to the blue shoes, to the earrings, to even, yes, the nose ring. <laughs> this look is totally signature Debbie. And in case you can't tell, I loved it. What did you think, Erin? I liked this look too, generally, but something about it in photos, I don't think it translated well. She kind of looked wild washed out and a little bit pale. But I think that has to do with how bright it was out there mm, on that right. carpet. Um, I'm gonna give this look a green light because it's different, it's signature. I love purple hair <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna say this is clever for me. Clever. All right, speaking of people who are rocking some awesome locks, Miss Zendaya brought the bob back out for the KCAs, which was an amazing choice because everything about her look was so on point. From the hair to the yellow Donna Karen t-shirt inspired top and the pencil skirt that matched, the print was super youthful. It was vibrant. She was like a breath of fresh air out there. Oh, this is the breath of fresh air I want to be breathing. Yes. And this wig, she is just proving yet again that she is the style chameleon right now in Hollywood period. There's Literally, there's no one in the game that's even close <laughs> to competing with her. So for me, this is clever. clever. Praise yeah. hands. <laughs> Praise hands all the way. <laughs> okay, so one of our favorite A-listers all around just cool girl that we want to be besties with, throwing that out there. <laughs> she won tonight. She looked amazing inside the show. It's Emma Stone. So Emma won the first award of the entire show. She looked funky and fun in her sparkly top, leather skirt, and pointed toe pumps. And this look was just perfect for the KCAs, which it is was. a really fun show. I mean, Emma's pretty much a regular at every Hollywood show these days. And I really love seeing her have a good time at the KCAs. And I also want to throw out there that I have a friend crush on you, Emma. Hi. <laughs> Get in line, girl. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I could not love her more than pizza and cookies and cream milkshake, y'all. <laughs> this look screams rock star slash badass slash queen of all redheads. She is perfect. It's perfect. And for me, it's totes. Clever. Clever. Yeah! Speaking of queens, the girls from Fifth Harmony showed up looking like royalty together on the red carpet. Now, collaborative efforts are usually really hard because every girl has their own unique fashion and style and personality, but the ladies of 5H nailed their red carpet ensemble, opting to kind of wear either all black or all white or even metallic. I thought all the girls looked awesome, but didn't they kind of look a little hot for you for LA? It's well, hot out there. It was hot outside today, but these girls are hot even with uh, the snowstorm. Okay, touche. Well, I have to say, Normani was my absolute favorite look out of all the girls because I love myself a good <laughs> bedazzled romper, and that ombre was on fleek, so this is definitely clever for me. What about you? Uh, I agree. We all know I'm obsessed with these girls. It's no secret. <laughs> and P.S. Camila, girl, if you're watching right now, I want to borrow like your whole outfit if that's okay. So this for me is clever, clever. also. Yeah. 
Okay, I am so, so, so excited to talk about this next lady because she won not just one, but two Kids' Choice Awards tonight, and she just landed a huge record deal. I love her so much. It's Laura Morano. Laura was a total babe on the orange carpet in a blue short dress with these super cool, almost floral cutout shape fabric things happening on the top of the dress with a mini skater style skirt on the bottom. Her shoes and clutch added some fun metallic oomph to the look and not to be too cheesy, but like you guys know I am cheesy. So who Bring really it on cares? girl. This girl has a smile that could kill and it's definitely <laughs> her best accessory. And again, I'm just so happy that she won tonight. What do you I think? I completely agree. I think this is the perfect balance between cute and sexy. I love the peekaboo cutouts. The color is youthful and perfect on her and I could not be more obsessed. So obviously. Totally clever. Yay! Okay, finally, our last dirty laundry look is our girl, Bethany Moda. Now, I may be a little bit biased, Jocelyn, you may be too, uh, but I love that she was wearing <laughs> pink and red and metallic. Um, I love that it was a little cocktail dress. She was so KCA appropriate. And also, was it just me or did she look super mature? with the straight hair. Oh, I completely agree. We've known Bethany for a really long time and yeah. I feel like now she's kind of coming out as a young woman and <laughs> she's never looked better. So for me, this was clever. Totally clever. Yeah. Okay, that is it for us, but we have to know which of these KCA looks were your absolute favorites and which ones, well, or not. Ooh, tough choice. You guys post all of your thoughts below and of course subscribe for more red carpet or orange carpet coverage <laughs> of this year's award show season. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Erin Robinson and we'll catch you guys next time. For more slime-tastic Kids' Choice Awards action, click to the left to see our rundown of the best moments from the show. And you can click to the right for a full list of all the big blimp winners.